What up guys, Fojo here. Today I'm going to talk about Barnacles and Black Powder, the new dungeon for New World. Kind of my thoughts on it, what I think it does well, what it doesn't do well, and kind of the overall feel of it. My issues with it, what I think they did well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my overall take of it. Real quick though, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. Also, we have started a second channel, which is Fojo FPS. And on that channel, we'll be playing games like Escape from Tarkov, Apex Legends, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that at all and like my content, I would really appreciate you going over there and subbing over there as well. And hopefully you like the content there. Uh, it's very similar to the content here, but in a format for those games. But that would help me out tremendously, and I would really appreciate it. And it's easy to find. There's a link below, or you can find it on this channel's page. So Barnacles and Black Powder, I was very excited because it seemed to be a cool theme for... A dungeon and an interesting new place of interest to go and like check out have fun today I played through it several times and wanted to get a good feel for it and kind of fight the bosses go through the different new puzzles they've kind of introduced which the puzzles are cool but the puzzles are very simple not super interesting to do um, I think at this point they need to start introducing a little more complicated puzzles or just give us something more to do other than just run through, kill, run through, kill. I think this is the easiest dungeon they've released after launch. I don't think it compares well to Tempest. Tempest came out, it was this huge thing, this massive dungeon they released. And this one kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Then don't get me wrong, it's fun to play through. The mini bosses and bosses are fun to fight. But... Other than that, I think it's kind of lacking in a lot of ways. There's a few new mechanics they've kind of introduced where, like, you get slowed down by this treasure purple glow that kind of slows you down as you walk through it, and then the ghosts come out of the treasure and fight you, which is kind of cool. But the thing is, it's not a brand new thing. Like, there's other things that slow you down and make it tough to walk through. So it's not like it's a brand new thing. The final boss you fight is kind of a souped up version of of a siren that you fight in the arena so it's not like it's a new enemy really it is there's some new features they have tornadoes that come out of her and she turns into one and she does a bunch of stuff but like it it's the same thing just changed up a little bit um, I wish they would have done more for this dungeon release I was really looking forward to it. They kind of built it up like it was going to be this big, new, cool thing that did. And it didn't quite hit the mark, I don't think. I think it kind of missed. And that's a rare thing for me to say about new rules that they missed, but it seems as though they've missed a bit. The new dungeon is its fun, but it's not something I want to go do again and again and again. Whereas Tempest Heart, I wanted to play over and over and over and over again until I beat it and got it right. I think that was partially because the dungeon was so difficult to get through the initial time. It was it was a little overtuned and hard to beat, which made it a lot of fun to learn the mechanics because the mechanics weren't very simple in the beginning and you had to figure things out. Whereas on this one, the mechanics are very simple, very laid out, very easy to follow, which is good for players. But at the same time, I think a lot of players are looking for something more interesting and difficult to do to have a challenge and this dungeon doesn't provide that now maybe the mutated version of this dungeon will be crazy over tuned and difficult but even with that it's a it's not a long dungeon it's a short dungeon you only fight two bosses really and the mini bosses really aren't bosses um, you run through them like any other mob in the dungeon so I don't think that this dungeon is as good as it could have been. I think they had all the right pieces to make it a good dungeon. It feels if shortchanged. Maybe they didn't they didn't put as much work into this one as they did Tempest. The problem with introducing something like Tempest is that once you've introduced something that's so big and so massive and has a lot of interesting things you get to go do and figure out about the dungeon, then then you have to follow it up with something similar. And this really isn't the good follow-up that we needed. I think that the dungeon itself does have a few little puzzles to follow and a few things you have to figure out, but you can figure them out pretty quick. 
Uh, the first time I ran through, I ran through people that had never done it at all. All of us were brand new to it. We figured all the puzzles out within seconds of being there and got it done and figured it out. And it really, it seemed as though it, it just made it really easy to get through. I think it would be nice to go through for the first time and it even take a little bit to figure it out. Give us a riddle or something to get us to figure out what to do. Now maybe this is the D&D &D player in me, but maybe give us a riddle to figure out something we have to find or to unlock to get to this next thing and make it a little difficult to do and give us an actual puzzle instead of grab this and walk over here to place it here. I understand that that's what they've done. Another thing was that you need a ranged, you need a ranged player to start this dungeon. The only thing the ranged player does is hit a few levers behind doors, the bow, which I think is, it's, it's a cool idea, but it's also... So if that's the only step to that puzzle, I think it's a little little weak. Other than that, I think, because it's a cool idea, but without other parts of a puzzle, it, it doesn't really do much for you. You know, it's not much of a puzzle at all. It's just like, oh, okay, all I need is a ranged player and I can get through this, no problem. I don't have to think about it at all. Just got to have somebody shoot this lever. Maybe that's the simplicity that some people want, but I personally, I think it's a little little less than exciting. Because I think that they do have the ability to make some cool puzzles and to make it interesting for us to get through. But at the same time, I I don't want them to make it so that people don't want to go through the dungeon because there's puzzles they have to get through. So I'm sure it's a balance they have to hit at the same time. But for me, I wish it was a little more thought-provoking and interesting. Whereas this one's just kind of like, hit this, do this, grab this, move it over here. And that's just doesn't do much for me. So I think that a little more high level puzzles or details to this would be very, very good. Uh, the dungeon itself looks pretty good. There's some spots of it where I'm like, it could have used some more. But overall, I think they did a pretty good job visual wise. It's definitely interesting to fight alligators in a dungeon. I think that's a new, interesting feature. I think. I've talked about I've talked about this with other people, and I think a beast dungeon at some point will be an interesting feature for New World, and a, a different direction to go into. Whether it's I don't I don't know if it's a new enemy that is half human, half animal, some, some type, you know, but something interesting like that could be cool and give them a reason to have beast bane and all that in the game. But this is kind of a piece of like maybe that could be possible. But I, I will say it was very easy to get through. It was not a difficult dungeon at all yeah I just I didn't find it too difficult I died a few times but it was mostly because I hadn't learned the mechanics of the bosses at that point once I learned the mechanics of the bosses it just kind of it made it a lot easier obviously but it was it was pretty simple to get through but yeah I mean I I did like it don't get me wrong I had fun with it I will keep playing it I'll play the mutations some and test those out and see what those are like but honestly I think New World needs to step things up when they release stuff like this and make sure that it's everything that they promise to be. Especially following up a dungeon like Tempest Heart, where they made this massive, huge dungeon that was this huge undertaking, I'm sure. But they can't follow something up like that with this, because this, is, <laughs> this isn't going to do it. But hopefully, with the new expansion coming out, that that will change, and there will be even better content coming through that. Because there's supposed to be another dungeon with that, I believe, as well as new enemies and new territory. So as long as that holds up and is huge and fits the bill for what players need, I think they'll be okay. But this, if they keep doing this, it's going to be tough to to want to keep playing a game that isn't putting out large content. For from my perspective, anyways. But again, I could be crazy. So let me know in the comments if you think I'm on to something here, or if I'm way off base, or what do you think about the dungeon and what does it need what does it have that you like but if you guys could like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate that also check out that second channel fojo fps for escape from tarkov content right now hit the bell so you know when all the new notifications are coming out for these videos but we'll have more videos out soon i hope to see you there